Hello, my name's Chris, welcome to the channel, and if you're not new, welcome back. Today I'm doing a yearly review of my Explore Scientific Exos 2 PMC8 mount that I've got behind me here, set up in my observatory. So I've not got the tripod, I've got it connected to two aluminium plates and a concrete beer, beer, <laughs> a concrete pier below that. So I think you can tell where my mind's going, I probably need a beer. Um, but yeah, what do I think to this mount a year on? now? Value for money wise, it's probably hard to beat because this currently retails for £769 in the UK and I think it's $999 in the US. So by go-to mount standards for a reasonably heavy duty, duty go-to mount, that's not too bad at all. That's quite reasonable. And it's got some very good pros to it, like it's actually quite quiet when it's balanced because it's belt driven and that also seems to make it quite accurate as well for its tracking and the the clutches are also really nice and smooth to undo they don't get caught and jammed and the bearings even on declination unlike the Celestron AVX are just buttery smooth and you can see how well balanced that is because it's seesawing and it'll just eventually stop horizontal but a lot of mounts would just be like stuck in a position like that because the bearings are quite stiff on declination so really good and it's the same on right ascension as well just really smooth to move around dead easy so it's got proper bearings it comes with two counterweights each one's 4.5 kilograms so a total of nine key kilograms of counterweight so i think that's 20 something pounds, 2.2 pounds per kilogram. And the payload capacity is 12.7 kilograms for imaging, which is quite decent for a mount at this price, I think. Now, belt drive wise, you can actually access the covers to actually see where the, the belts are. So they are just underneath those covers there. If I can get access to it, so you can see how the belt is. So that's a nice touch for maintenance there. This is easier said than done when you're looking for a, a phone camera. <laughs> so I'll put that back on for now. Hopefully it doesn't fall off during the rest of this overview. So yeah, it's kind of a EQ, between an EQ5 and an HEQ5 class mount really. It comes with a illuminated polar scope as well. I can get that off. So you don't always get that for this price range as well. So they do throw a lot in for the money and it's all controlled by this thing. I've got a heated pet blanket around it to keep all the dew off, but this is the PMC8 module with the Wi-Fi and all the computing power inside. And it's an open go-to community. So it's open source software that you can actually, you can actually do your own thing with it if you wish to. And the software this runs is, we'll go over to the laptop, this Explore Stars. Now, this will run on Windows 10, Amazon, iOS, Android. I've got it running on Windows 10. There is a quirk to this that sometimes you have to like disable your firewall to get it to connect to the mount, <laughs> but to be honest, compared to the last Wi-Fi controlled mount I tried, this is relatively good. And I really like the interface. I don't know if you can see it there, but you can slew via these buttons. Oh, got selector speed maybe. Eight. You can hear how quiet that is. Or you can grab this thing here, got a compass, and you can just literally move it around. I don't know if you can hear how quiet that is. Full speed nine. And we'll go the other way. So it's moving on both axes. Now it sounds pretty quiet, considering a lot of mounts are really loud. But if I, if I moved this out of balance, 
the motors would make a ratcheting sound because you have to have it perfectly balanced for this to work well with a high payload and um yeah i think i think wi-fi mounts are getting better i've heard good things about the az gti as well and that that seems to work well so a few years back wi-fi mounts were just <laughs> kind of quite tricky things to use but i think we're really getting there with all this tech now but yeah i may i may be moving this this mount on to fund a really big mount and i've also got another toy that i've just received from first light optics have kindly loaned me a refractor a very cool refractor so i'm looking forward to showing you guys that uh, but i won't do that in this video i'll keep you i'll be mean and keep you hanging i won't give it away but obviously just join me next time if you want to see what that cool refractor is you might be able to guess but you'll see more of that next time appearance wise it looks slightly old-fashioned with the these connections here these old serial connections and the style of the mount but i, I quite like it i think it's really cool and it's it's robust and it the tripod that i've got in my loft is quite a chunky affair so i think it kind of sits between the eq5 and heq5 but yeah anyway that was a quick yearly update um, just literally those two issues. Sometimes you have to disable the firewall to get it to connect with Windows 10 and you just need to be really careful with your balance. And I do actually think it's probably better we have a much lighter payload than this, to be honest, because it is difficult. I've had to work really hard to balance the declination to get it to work smoothly without that ratcheting. And... I've mainly used it inside aerial mode, tracking mode, because I could I was limited to slewing speed five for a while whilst I was trying to get that balance perfectly. And as soon as you attach a camera, you've got to do it again. So I've, I think I'm just going to upgrade to a really heavy duty mount and then not have that to worry about. But if you've got like a smaller refractor or a six inch reflector, I think this will be really good, really good. It's probably just a bit too finickety for an eight inch reflector anyway that's cool that's all i wanted to speak to you guys about today and uh, hopefully see you on the next video thanks as always for watching and uh, if you've not subscribed consider it if you fancy it and i always appreciate everyone watching my videos that's why why i do it i just like sharing stuff so sharing astronomy so cool catch you later